Thomas. I'm the founder of the YES organization in the United States, which stands for Youth Education Sports, and also the Ray Thomas Foundation here in Baja California Surf. In 1989, I was invited down to Baja to umpire an international softball tournament. At that time, I fell in love with La Paz and went home and started bringing equipment down to start Little Leagues here in Baja, because they had none in 1989. We continued to do that for uh, 15 years, and we kept bringing used equipment from the United States down and started sports programs in the schools for the children who never had competitive sports before. After that, we kind of evolved and we kept growing, and then I decided to permanently live in La Paz and I'm so happy I did. And with that change, with my friends, Nico uh, Barreño and Luis Camalich, we were able to form a, a really neat nonprofit foundation that relies strictly on donations to help the kids play sports. Four years ago, uh, we were approached by a lady who was running a small food program for 35 kids. She was feeding them a sandwich, fruit, and milk three days a week, and she asked me to take the program over at one of the schools, which we did. Uh, today, uh, we have evolved into where we have two kitchens and one new kitchen that's being built in Cabo. It will be open in the next two or three weeks. We're feeding 300 every morning, a wholesome breakfast with 10 menus. And our plan and our goal is to feed more than 100 kids in each school because there's kids that are hungry, they need to be fed, and we rely on donations. Uh, we get a lot of support from different organizations like OXO, Karako, uh, Kalafi, uh, para, uh, Shedrawi, and different places give us plenty of support. Uh, so. With the free food that we get and the donations that we get, we're able to feed 300. Uh, as I said earlier, without being redundant, we want to feed more. The kids are hungry, and uh, I feel that giving them a good breakfast and some sports to play, uh, it gets them off to a good start every day. Uh, and it's proven to be a very good program. Uh, this kitchen here, uh, we took over about a year ago. The mothers here uh, are helping us with, uh, they don't get paid. Uh, they're here every day cooking and cleaning. And uh, we have that in all of our schools. We try to teach the kids to say thank you and to say please. Uh, they have to wash their hands before they eat. So it's not just a giveaway program. Uh, all of our kids in our programs uh, do anti-graffiti work, anti-basura work, uh, so we want them to learn the values at an early age, from age 6 to 12, is the, is the group that we deal with. And if we teach them these, these values now, we hope, as a part of their education, that later as they get older, they won't spray, they won't throw basura on the ground. And as they get older, older, and have families of their own, it'll evolve more and more. Uh, to me, to see a kid hungry is, is it's terrible. So the more support we get, we, you can, uh, if for $200 a year, you can sponsor a child. Uh, we have tax write-offs available. For $200 a year, you can sponsor a sports team. So it's not a lot of money, but it does cover a lot of kids. So I don't know what else to say other than I want to thank everybody that's helped us, and I'm looking forward to building more kitchens, feeding more kids, having more sports teams, and uh, I think that's, that's about it. <laughs>